Everybody who owns a hex stake can mint free Hedron tokens by using the Hedron DAP. If you don't fully comprehend the mechanism behind hex or you simply haven't staked any hex before, check out my previous videos first. Minting Hedron is quite simple if you've staked your hex directly on the hex DAP or Hedron DAP. However, if you're a staker app user, you'll need to take some extra steps. Welcome to Crypto Explained, the easiest way to educate yourself in a ride around the blockchain. Here we try to explain crypto topics as simply as possible so everyone can understand. In this video, I'll show you how to mint Hedron step by step. I'll keep it short and simple. If you want more information about Hedron itself, click on the video in the top right corner. Anyways, no financial advice on this channel. I'm just gathering the facts so my lazy friends don't have to. If you're using the Hex or Hedron DAP to make your stakes, this will only take a minute. Go to Hedron.pro if you want to mint Hedron and connect your MetaMask wallet to the website. Your Hex stakes will appear along with the amount of Hedron you can mint at that specific moment. If you want, you can mint Hedron every single day during your stake, but you'll have to bear in mind the gas fees that come along with every transaction you make. So, if you're not planning on doing anything with these tokens besides holding them in your wallet, it's better to wait so you can mint it all in one transaction just before you end your stake. I emphasize mint before the end of your stake because after you end your stake, it's too late. You won't be able to mint any more Hedron. Now, if you've decided to mint, simply click on mint and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. If you've never held any Hedron before, you'll need to click Add Hedron to MetaMask before the tokens will appear in your wallet. Easy. That's all it takes. If the Hex and Hedron earnings have you eager to earn even more yield, you can also stake this Hedron to earn Icosa as yield by using the Icosa dApp on app.icosa.pro. Okay, that was the easy part. If you're using Staker app, you'll need to take some extra steps. But it's entirely possible to mint Hedron as well. There's a small risk involved, though, as you'll need to enter your seed phrase into another software wallet, MetaMask. In case you're not aware, your seed phrase gives you access to your crypto on the blockchain. So be sure to always handle it with care especially if you have to enter that phrase into a keyboard. It's never impossible that someone is watching. The safest way to enter a seed phrase is by using a hardware wallet. But anyway, in this video, we won't elaborate on these fatherly concerns. First and foremost, you'll have to import your Staker app seed phrase into MetaMask. You can easily download the MetaMask browser extension at metamask.io. Once you've done this, click on Import Wallet and enter the 24 words you received in Staker App word for word. To secure this new software wallet, you have to choose a password after which you can complete the importation. Once you do this, you'll see that this MetaMask account is empty. The content of your Staker App wallet won't show up here, so you'll have to fund this account in order to pay for the gas fees when you're minting Hedron. The cheapest way to do this is by purchasing Ethereum on a centralized exchange such as Coinbase or Kraken and forwarding these funds to your MetaMask account. You can easily copy your wallet address by just clicking on it, then go to the Withdrawal tab of your crypto bank and paste it. Please be aware, though, that you're sending these coins by using the Ethereum network. If you're not, you'll lose them forever. When your Ethereum has safely arrived in MetaMask, go to GnosisSafe.io. This is the digital vault that Staker App is using to store your crypto. If you open the web app in the top right corner, you'll have to connect your MetaMask account to the site. Since Staker App had already created a safe for you when you made your smart wallet purchase, you can click on Add Existing Safe. At the moment of making this video, it only makes sense to click on the Ethereum network. However, there will be another option in the near future as PulseChain is eventually going to launch. 
After that, you'll have to choose a random username for your safe, and you'll have to enter your safe's address. This address can be viewed in Staker app if you go to Wallet and click on Deposit. Simply copy-paste the address underneath the QR code and click on Add. If you've done this successfully, you should be able to see the content of your smart wallet under the Assets tab. Now, if you click on the tab Apps, you'll see that you have to enter a URL. To find the exact URL, open a new tab and go to Hedron.pro. Click on Mint Your Hedron and copy the URL that appears at the top. Go back to your Gnosis safe and paste the link. If you click on Use Wallet Connect, you'll see that you have to make a connection by entering a QR code. Go back to the Hedron DAP again, click on Connect Wallet and choose Wallet Connect. The QR code will appear and can be copied by clicking underneath. After pasting the code, your Gnosis safe will be connected to the Hedron DAP. Your hex stakes will appear in the application along with the amount of Hedron you can mint. The first thing you have to do after clicking the Mint button is confirming the transaction in the Gnosis safe itself. This will cause your MetaMask to pop up because you have to confirm it here again in order to pay for the gas fees. If the transaction was successful, you should be able to see the Hedron tokens if you go to the Assets tab. As you can see, you can easily make your hex stakes in Staker app. But if you want to mint your free Hedron, it's quite a detour. But it's certainly not impossible. If you want to make sure you don't make any mistakes, I suggest you watch the well-known hexagon David Feeder doing the whole process while sharing his screen. I'll leave the link in the description. Like and subscribe if you like this sort of content and ask any questions you might have in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.